Hello, everyone, and good morning, and welcome back to the Oakland Athletics episode two here, where we are trying to rebuild the league and hopefully keep them in Oakland. I am Stuart, and this sports history game. Where it is November 30th, 2023, and we have been doing some things free to say, I know there's a little bit of a lost time gap there at the end of the last episode. So we're going to go in and we're going to kind of review what we are doing in terms of our off season. So we do have a few pending officer, offers, seven, I guess, potential free agents. Most of them are kind of experienced players who we're bringing in just to try to be competitive next year. So Aaron Nola, I don't know that we'll get three stuff pitchers, 93 to 95 miles an hour. Great stand, but not good at all these runners on. Movement's kind of going down, but control, fastball, curveball, all at 65. Stuff's 55. Sinker, saved up better all. Still above 50. He's been an innings eater for the Phillies in the National League, so my hope is that he would be able to, you know, not have too many injuries that would be able to carry that on. Spencer Turnbull, again, not an elite pitcher, but everything but a change of to carry. Ground ball pitcher, two and a half stars. Decent stamina, decent holding runners on. But he'd be an end of the rotation guy, kind of like we already have Paul Blackbird, so, you know, maybe Blackbird. Turnbull would be like four or five. Nola would probably slot in towards um, the top of the rotation. Vidal Bruhan uh, is a potential, you know, really good base stealer, defensive infielder, utility player, ground ball hitter. Not great offensively, 25 years old for the Dominican Republic. He might be one more for the future, but they make an offer for him. You can see he's a minor league contract. Yeah, I know Gustav, again, Dominican Republic player, two and a half stars, ground ball pitcher. You know, he's got the slider and sinker. There's only two pitches. They're not bad because the movement's pretty good. Control's not bad. Stuff's okay. You can see he's pitched a little bit for the Brewers the last couple of years. Um, at a 380 60 area in 2022. He does have an unknown injury for five to six months. So that's a little concerning. But, you know, he, he gives us a chance there at the bullpen level to try to do stuff. Rowdy Tellez, another, you know, potential former brewer, is the first baseman, you know, home run power of 60, high discipline of 55. Uh, like contact the gap, you know, avoiding the case. Probably lead by any stretch, 28 years old, left handed batter. He is from El Grove, California, so it'll be coming home potentially for him. Luis Severino, we did offer again. Two stars could be two and a half stars. Uh, we think low scouting accuracy. Stamina to 65, holding runners on. You know, movement's not ideal, but the stuff, the control, basketball slider are still pretty decent. Change of pen are just average. But again, he might be a, you know, number three, number four starter. Why to just kind of piece together a semi-competitive rotation? Everybody but Nola is on a really short-term contract. So, Bruhan, uh, Obviously, the minor league contract, the third ball, one year contract, Gustav, two year contract, Pele, Severino, one year contracts, and then Ayashida is a guy who I probably want to side the most. He's a three star ground ball pitcher, could be a three and a half star, though scouting accuracy is low. Davis, 25, holds runners on fairly decently. He's Japanese, 28 years old. Stuff, pick it up to 60. The movement is very, very good. It pulls not bad. The change up is not that good, but the cutter is fantastic. He's a left hander. So again, we are focusing a lot on the pitching side of things, which we don't have a ton of offense either. But right, we think Jellop's gonna or Gelop is gonna come and be our everyday second baseman potentially. Nick Allen is a very good defensive player. 
we were going to say that Glacius at shortstop, but you know, realistically, again, we already have Allen under contract, and we don't have a ton of money. Like we're the Athletics, right? We we, we don't have a ton of money. Um, Ryan Noto is a left. Oh, so that's Ezra Ruiz play it outfield. Great on the base pass speed, stealing. It's not an elite offensive player. It's center Noda who played first base. You know, really not that much different than Tell is, to be honest. He's going to strike out more. Um, He can also play a little bit of left field. Brett Rooker is going to still be by DH, right? So it'll be Tellez or Noda, Rooker, Langoliers still, you know. So the middle of the lineup is essentially going to look the same, which is it's really kind of concerning, to be honest. But Langoliers does have power. Um, if we did bring Soderstrom up, what did, can Rooker play? He would be a first baseman. So actually, we're going to take. We might remove the contract. I don't know, though, because if we remove the contract to tell us, then. The issue becomes the lineup gets really thin if there's an injury or any of those guys struggle. I mean, it's already a thin lineup. It's already a thin lineup, but Soderstrom most likely will be up, right? He will most likely be up. J.J. Blade, right? Two stars, right? Good outfielder defensively. Has a little bit of power, a little bit of pop. Um, at 195, 256 at bats. They get Capel's going to be up, you know, as well. Diaz at third base. We really could use a better third baseman. So let's go in, right? Ah. Uh. Alexis Luna. Louis Gangales. Sixteen years old. David De La Riva, twitch hitting first baseman. So we can't offer him a contract yet. So, but we are going to request a scouting report on him to see if we can't get a little bit of a scouting report. Luis Mendoza is a really good offensive player, but it's not. Great catcher, so by withdrawing the contract to Iglesias, we're gonna, we don't really need another catcher. We've already looked at you know first base, you know with Tellas. Second base, again, we do think that that's where, you know, Geloff will come in and play. Jonathan Aranda, hey, he's okay. 
Bruhan, again, we are offering him a contract. We'll see if he accepts. And we do have Diaz, who's our top, you know, earner coming back as well. But we would like to be able to have him more as a uh, utility player. Scope, Segura. Segura is 33. He avoids K's. Like, that's not nothing. Like, that, that, that is a valuable skill. It's just... Colted Wong. All right, so Hunter Dozier. Better first baseman. And Matt Duffy. I mean, again, you know, for the most part, a lot of the best players are going to be re-signed, right? Um, but... And we don't have a lot of money to, you know, necessarily go in and re-sign or sign a lot of elite players anyway. So, Brevik Valera... The better second baseman than anything... Nick Ahmed. Again, the issue here is it's he's an elite defensive court stop, right? But he wants four point six million. He's not a great offensive player. And, I mean, you're not going to get a, you know, he would cost way more than that if he was. And I get that. But, like, Iglesias is a little bit better offensively, but he's not quite as good defensively. $2.8 million. Kevin Newman. It's kind of a cross of them. But, you know, less power, maybe a little bit. Simmons. Again, really good defensively. Not a whole lot there offensively. Be nice if we could sign Michael Brantley is kind of on the downside of his career at thirty six. Although the contact gap power and the avoiding the cave are good, his speed is definitely declining. And he won at six million. I we don't we don't have that kind of money for a player like that. Willie Calhoun. Joey Gallo has a lot of pop, but he but he's gonna strike out almost all the time. J.D. Martinez toward the 36. I, again, I, I don't want to cite players who are too old. Jack Peterson, 18 and a half million. You know, for me, with the A's, where the money is tight, he's not a, he's not a player I want to spend that much money on. So far... Would have thought he could run a little bit better than that, but
No. Eddie Rosario is an interesting one. Can play left field, can play right field, corner outfielder. How much does he want? He wants three point six million. You want to say Daza? Iron Man, not really very fast, you know, only 40 speed, but high tack, avoid EKs, gap power. It's really good all over the outfield, really good defensively. At 282 for the Rockies at 221, 270 last year. What does he want? Four million considered extremely hard to sign. He's an Iron Man. Hunter Renfro. So Larry's going to have a little bit of pop, but he's going to strike down a lot. And he's not a great defender. I don't. I kind of like Daza. I mean, I know I have a young center fielder. Hello. I like the contact, the avoiding the case. It would be nine seventy eight seven hundred and eighty eight thousand if we tried to sign him though. Which means Brantley's out of it. We could maybe side Rosario. So we're going to go back here again. We've got Hogan Harris, fly ball pitcher, Paul Blackburn, three point two million, Utsiski. I thought we had re. Said wasn't going to bring him back, but Mason Miller is not bad. And then we have Caprellian.
Let's take a look at our minor league starters. So Dalton Jeffries. It's still three months. He's recovered from Tommy John surgery. John Newcomb. All right, so if we go Newcomb, Jeffries, Miller, Harris, Severino, All right, then we still have Rusinski, Blackburn. So we'd be spending hundred and nine million odd Aradola for six years. So we're gonna draw the offer to Spencer Turnbull. I know it's just one point six million, but And then, all right, Soderstrom is going to come up. We already know that, but so he'll probably DH, which means Rooker is going to go to first. Right, so I think Rooker and Noda might platoon. Although he's really not that much better against righties than he is lefties. Neither is Tellez, to be honest. Um, Ruiz. Like, the main reason I would want a guy like Brantley or Daza is to try to get better on base, right? Oh, Diaz is a horrible at it, but... Maybe I'd be, maybe I'd be better coaches will help. Right, maybe every better coaches will help.
All right, Connor Capel, not great when it comes to avoiding K's, but going to promote him to Oakland. Left handed bat, 26 years old. Zach Gilov will strike out a little bit, but we'll also promote him to Oakland. We did go out and we did sign a new staff. So Darwood Barney, Todd Black, Luis Salazar, Jake Fox, and Joe Varvara, and Carney Lansford are all new. Barney uh, played with the Chicago Cubs as a second baseman, so he's an unproven manager. Five-year contract, $1 million a year. 38 years old. He's the only fair at teaching pitching, but everything else he's pretty good at uh, above average. Uh, speaking of pity, Jake Fox, he just said he did good. He's good at development, good at mechanics, decent at aging. Luis Salazar, who's our pitching coach, is good at development, good at mechanics, legendary at aging, and outstanding at teaching pitching. So those are our primary coaches um, that we're going to count on to try to, you know, better the, the roster. And We just go by left fielders. Again, Eddie Rosario wants three point six million. And decent contact, decent avoiding case. I think if we get Eddie and then we'd have 610,000 left. One year contract for 3.6 million. So we are going to go for him. You know, to be honest, we are going to withdraw the offer for Tellez. And we're going to still try to sign Nola, though. Because I do feel like we need a guy at the top of the rotation. And if we get Severino as well, that'll help lengthen it out for us. So we're going to advance. Uh, Quid would have said Willie Castro getting Carlos Perez. I'm going to reject that. Brewers would said Tyro Taylor at Samuel Strickland getting Perez a pack. Everybody wants me to give up Perez. We zero in on David De La Riva. He's a five star potential, big six foot three, two hundred five first baseman from Santa Domingo, Dominican Republic. His plus power ceiling is above average ability, but the ball play gets hits. He has potential for an average strike zone recognition and could draw 50 walks. 
Luis Salinas from the Independent League. Not sure why he's interesting. He kind of looks not that good. So the Rangers did beat the Diamondbacks. Uh, Gustav. Saying we might have cleared up some things. Nelson Escobar. Great proposal for the Athletics. Now, Darren Duran is an interesting prospect that the Red Sox are offering. So he's okay at contact. He's got great gap power. He's a good left fielder. He's 27. He's pretty decent at the base pass. He's okay at the outfield, although he doesn't have a great arm. But they went Perez, Jorge Juan, no. And it's, oh, God, I, it's Soderstrom Hell, though. Sorry. The Quids. So they would get Blackburn and Juan in return for Castro. The Reds. It said Fairchild, Ridardo Cruz, getting Perez, and Soderstrom. No, I'm not giving up Soderstrom. Um, Ayashida says he won't commit to Oakland right now, but we've given him a lot to think about. So we're going to discuss this trade with the Quids. don't really want Willie Castro that badly. Like, I, I don't know why they keep trying to give me Willie Castro. Um, Matt Ken Carino, 25 years old. The stuff could get better. Fastball slider, change up our elite, movement and control. If you could offer a little bit more, we can make this a deal work. Diaz, Miller, or Harris? Brett Harris, 25-year-old, third baseman who's very average. Okay, Jordan Diaz. We will send them Jordan Diaz. Are you kidding me? So we're going to send Paul Blackburn, veteran pitcher, not very good. And we're going to get Matt Pinterino, a AAA pitcher, 25 years old, 6'2", 225, 94 to 96 miles an hour. Stamina is only 45. But the stuff, the movement is still, you know, average ish control, figured it's slightly better. Fastball slider, changeup are all great. Stuff is above average. We're going to make that trade. We're definitely going to make that trade. So Blackburn is 17-24 with an ERA of 4.90. And he did actually start with the Twits. Again, I don't know how good Matt's going to be, but that potential, if nothing else, he could be a bullpen arm with, with this stuff. A long reliever with 45 stamina. That is a great trade for us. We would get O'Hurd and Terstad, and we get Carlos Perez. Don't want O'Hurd. Heston. Okay, he's not bad. It's just, yeah, no, that that's not a trade I want to make. Nola. Doesn't sound like we're going to get him. 
The Rockies are offering 19.4. Yandel Gustav does side for us. Uh, Severino says he's not sure. Hayashida. They, they're giving him 10 million. Draft lottery, right? The Royals, Nationals, Rockies are the first three. We have the fourth pick. Uh, but we did get Gustav, who's not a, you know, who's a decent pitcher. So he's going to help the bullpen. Winter meetings have begun. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, free agents, pending offers. We're going to withdraw NOLA. Because he wanted $18.2 billion. I mean, it sucks, but Money left for free agents if he's side would be twenty six point two billion. All right, so if we gave him two, basically two more eight million a year. So it'd be twelve point eight billion, the potential could be fifteen point eight billion. Because we, we want Hayashida. And I mean, honestly, again, I, I know we just picked up the young kid. We get Severino. Do we really want to go all in on NOLA? Yeah, we're going to. The reason we're going all in on NOLA um, is if we get him Although he wants to go to St. Louis now. Lord. Hayashida. All right, we're, we're going to stick with Hayashida. And we are going to get, we're going to get out of the Aaron Nola sweepstakes, right? We are going to get out of the Nola sweepstakes because we, we just can't compete with that. Um, I don't know that we could compete with the Hayashida sweepstakes either, but. The winter meetings have ended. They, he still says we're the best contract. Probably just get to January. So we are in the Rule 5 draft where we have the top pick. 
uh, Juan Flores of the Dominican Republic. David Schneider. He's going to strike out a lot. He's not great defensively. But he's okay at the plate. Canario from the Dominican. Nathan Blanco from Cuba. He's an avid fisherman. He's an outman. He's a leader in the locker room. A two forty eight with the Dodgers, twenty three home runs, seventy RBIs. He's gonna strike out, but he can play every outfield position, so I think we're gonna go James Outman. Dalton, Je oh, Dalton Jeffries was lost in the Rule 5 draft. Oh, my God. Okay. Sean Newcomb and Carlos Perez also were lost. Mm, that was a dub on me. I, I should have brought him up. Can't believe I forgot to do that. Jonathan Bermudez. It's not bad. 28-year-old lefty. So I, I do need to get another... I, I need to address the starting pitching now. Oh, that was stupid of me. Hey, 28 years old from he's Puerto Rican. You know, he's not bad. It's not bad. So we are going to get Bermuda's. And then we'll just complete the draft. So we lost Jeffries, Duke, and Perez. Turnbull, Bellez, no. We we don't need Jorge Polanco. Um, okay, so we do bring Wando Gustav in. <laughs> Let 
No, oh, that was dumb. Jeffries would have been a big part of what we were doing. I don't want O'Hearn. So we did sign Luis Severino. The fan and Chris increases slightly. Vital Bruhan does sign as a you know second baseman. Again, Severino is not. A pitcher, maybe he once was, and he doesn't help us as much as you know he would have a few years ago. Bruhan's a really good utility player, but Severino signing does lessen the loss a little bit of Jeffries and Newcomb. Not completely, not completely, especially since we were not able to sign Nola. Taylor Jones and Nelson Rada getting Capel and Susak. Now Rada is really good. Rada is really good, but can we get rid of Capel? Because I don't want to. And what if I get rid of that? So Rada for Susak. Make it work now. Max Muncy. Okay, we won't do that. Holin, we don't want to do that. Lawrence Butler. No. Clark. Denzel Clark, 23 years old. I, don't really, I mean, I know I'm getting a good player back, but I just, I, I don't want to. Louis Morales. Salinas. Fastball curveball. We'll give him Salinas. So Daniel Susak and Roy Burr Salinas for Nelson Rada. Rada, who could be a really great at contact and avoid EKs, pretty decent at the base pass and a decent in the outfield. We will make that trade. Uh, with the Angels. Yes! So we get Eddie Rosario, which is going to be good. And we also get Open Crowd. Welcomes Hayashida Hi to the bigs. Karumasa again. So you add him. We added Gustav. You know, we still have May. Not thrilled about losing Jeffrey the Dukedom. But we do get Severino. We got Rosario. Right, I feel like I feel like we're doing okay. Not great, but right, Bermudez, Harris, Miller are going to be in there. We're going to have. Right, but we'll add Severino in.
right? And Rusinski is still number five. So again, we, we don't have a great rotation. Giddy Nola would have been huge. Keeping Jeffries and Nuka would have been huge. But it's it's all right. And that's where we're going to end up today's episode. Thank you to anybody that really for watching. Play around with the rest of the offseason. We are in 2024 now, January 1st. And I'll talk to you all.